Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Uh, this is a combination lock circuit with a uh, membrane keypad uh, matrix. Um, there are 16 buttons on the matrix and this is a LS7222 based um, programmable uh, combination lock kit. Now I'm going to be interfacing this with many paintball props in the near future, but I'm also going to be selling this in assembled form and kit form as it is so that you can easily interface it with your own Arduino or other microcontroller products. The board itself has uh, four mounting holes so it's easily mounted to any project box. The membrane keypad plugs in on a uh, an 8 pin header and uh, as you can see, there are outputs. These don't come with the module or the kit. These wires or these LEDs. Um, but I'm going to show you the, sig the signal wires and what they do based on the codes and how to program it. So there's actually three different codes that are completely prog programmable. The ARM code, the disarm code, and the duress code. And I'll talk to you about, about what they do in just a minute. But what I've got is, uh, on the outputs, uh, there are uh, a ton of outputs here. There is a lock LED output which is on, on during power up as you can see uh, that's the top one and that simulates the red LED on board um, the second is the lock output and we'll get to that in a minute there's the disarm output the alarm output the arm output the tamper output and the program output the program output is is merely just uh, just to tell you uh, it, it, there's actually a green LED on board that tells you when you're in program mode meaning program a new uh, set of combinations and there's also a, an external ground and regulated 5 volt uh, pin on the outputs we are using the external ground to ground our LEDs uh, but we're not using the 5 volt pin so anyway let me just show you by default uh, what the combinations are during setup or during power up sorry upon power up your default codes are as following Arm is 1254. Disarm is 1251. Duress is 1252. Now let's go through what each of them does. During power up, if you want to arm your device, uh, obviously you type 1254. Now, if the lock output, if you've been messing around with it and the lock output is high, uh, and the lock output will be high uh, based on the uh, disarm code, um, if you arm it 1254, that lock output LED2 from the top will latch low and the arm uh, output will go high momentarily and then go low again so let's try that 1254 so the arm the third from the bottom the arm LED turned on and then off uh, the lock output LED second from the top it was already off because we hadn't entered in a disarm code uh, let's enter in the disarm code now uh, which is 1251 when we do that the lock output latches high and will stay high until we get another until we enter another code um, and the disarm uh, LED will go high for a short period of time and then low again so disarm one two five one there we go lock latched high disarm went high, disarm pin went high and then back low again so uh, duress the duress, in the case of duress, the um, disarm LED will go high momentarily, then go low again, uh, while the alarm LED will, will or output will latch high. So that is one, two, five, two. There we go. Um, lock is still latched high because the duress, um, the duress combination is more or less to just it's 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 basically like uh oh something's really wrong duress alarm will latch high if the lock output is already high it will stay high and disarm will go high momentarily and then low again so anyway if you want if you type in the wrong code at any point despite the logic on the other leds you'll notice that I'm pressing buttons that are not in the sequence. I can even do one, two, five, one, two, five, six, one, two, five, six. And that second from the bottom is a tamper LED, and that's going high for a short period of time. So you can pro use that pin to program in your system to tell your system that there is an issue, someone's trying to get in it who doesn't know the code. Now, let's talk about program mode. To enter into program mode, you have to press the current disarm code plus star star. Uh, in the case in the case of when, uh, the, our default codes, that would be one two five one star star. Disarm is one two five one. 
Now, we basically have to use a six, we have to create a s uh, sequence of six numbers or letters. Uh, by the way, the numbers go from zero to nine, the characters go from uh, our star and number sign, and the letters are A to D on the right. Again, we'll talk about the membrane in a minute. But the, uh, what we have to do is we have to program in our three new codes, because we need a new disarm code, a new arm code, and a new duress code. Now, what we do is we enter in six digits. The first three digits are common. Uh, the fourth digit is the final digit in the arm code. The fifth digit is the uh, final digit on the disarm, new disarm code. And the first three, uh, and sorry, the sixth digit is the final digit in our new disarm code. So that might sound a little bit ambiguous. So I'm actually going to write out an example. So after we enter into program mode, the uh, program LED will latch high, and we'll show. I'll do that in just one second. Um, but just so you understand our our new code, we have to and we enter in six numbers. The first three numbers are common, C O M. So our common numbers are four, five, six. Uh, for the seventh, the the fourth digit is the final digit in our arm code, seven. The fifth digit is the final digit in our new disarm code, and the last digit, the sixth digit, is the last digit in our duress code. So notice they all have 456 in, in their code. And so, 4567 arm, let's try it out. But first, we have to actually program it. So again, when I get into program mode, the program LED, which is the last LED here, um, will light up. And then we enter in 456789, and we'll try out to make sure that everything is working properly. So I'm going to enter in our, new dis our disarm code plus star star to enter to enter us into program mode. Okay, so the last digit should be lighting up, but it isn't, and that's because my connection between the board and the breadboard is not correct. But you would, what you will notice is that on the board. Um, that green LED lights up and that is actually the same connection as the programming LED here. The problem is is uh, my connections between the board and the breadboard aren't fantastic. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter in the new code. I'm in program mode so now all I have to do is take my time and press 456789 to enter in our new code. So bear with me. As soon as you enter in that last digit the programming LED turns off. So now let's enter in our new arm code. Our new arm code is 456. Sorry, bring it out. This bring us out a bit. 4567. There we go. Arm went high uh, momentarily, and then went low again. And uh, our new disarm code is 4568. Uh, the lock LED latched high and the disarm pin went high, high and then low again. Expected behavior and finally the new duress code which is 4569. So the disarm pin went high momentarily and went low again and alarm latched high. So that's pretty much it. I know it might sound a little bit complicated, and I, I stuttered. I kind of had to. I would have used a, a, a blackboard for, for this explanation, but. I wanted to be able to show it to you. Uh, so let me just quickly go over the, the board itself and the membrane keypad. As I mentioned before, the membrane keypad has um, 10 numbers, 2 symbols, and 4 letters. And letters can be included in your new codes, um, and so can, so can the symbols. Although I would leave the star symbol out of it because you will need that or you can you can use the star symbol, but remember that after your disarm, when you put it in programming mode, your last disarm uh, code is ends with two stars. So the membrane keypad can be attached and reattached at any time through the uh, the board. You just have to unplug it. There we go. And actually, I'm turning off power right now. There's just a, an eight pin header right now, right here. Place it on there, and you're ready to go. It's plug and play. All of your outputs are right here. You got your program LED and your lock LED. 
regulated down to 5 volts. Here's your LS7222. LS you can get this assembled or in, in a kit form. I'm going to make an assembly video very soon. Uh, this is your power terminal. One pin is labeled V+, plus, which is uh, 7 to 12 volts. Uh, and then there's ground, which is DC ground. It's all regulated down using the 7805 5-volt regulator. So thanks for your patience, guys. If you made it this far, it must be because you're actually interested in this kind of combination lock. I'm going to be selling another variant uh, of this combination lock with a uh, with another type of keypad. But I thought the membrane keypad was kind of cool. So thanks for watching. Thank you for your patience. Have a great day, everyone.